high-speed sports cars and luxury villas. These are just some of the items seized by police from fraudsters suspected of living extravagant lifestyles by scamming thousands of people. It's taken two years in a multinational police operation to close down this global network of so-called boiler rooms, many found here in Spain. Local officers worked with City of London police to make more than 100 arrests. This is fraud. This is stealing from people, but it's stealing from people on an unprecedented scale. We've got at least um, 850 victims that we've identified already in the United Kingdom. There are bound to be many, many more. We know that they have lost millions of pounds. People's lives have been blighted. People's lives have been devastated by this kind of crime. Fourteen boiler rooms were closed down. This led to four arrests in Serbia. Eighty-four were made in Spain. In the UK, there were 20 arrests and a further two in America. This led to a total of 110 arrests, most on suspicion of money laundering and fraud offences. The call centres are nicknamed boiler rooms because of the high-pressure environment that salesmen work in, aggressively selling bogus shares to potential buyers. They work from scripts, making up sales pitches for worthless or non-existent shares. Many of the victims were elderly or vulnerable and invested their life savings. Well, for the next three weeks we were devastated, absolutely devastated. I didn't tell the family for three weeks afterwards, you know, and then they, we, we ought to have told them at first because they were very ever so supportive, like, you know, and we've had nothing but support ever since. And of course I didn't know where I was going, what I was doing. I couldn't work out anything, you know, because we were in a comfortable position and then we come, it was, we were absolutely broke, you know, broke. There could be thousands more victims yet to come forward and this boiler room network is estimated to have made fraudsters £15 million. Those who have been duped are being urged to contact police but it's thought the chances of getting any money back are slim. Most of it, police say, has already been spent. Joe Tidy, Sky News.